Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Marcel Paral Gambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to scroll any web page in Selenium like this. So that we have seen in last video. So for that purpose, we have to take help of JavaScript code. So see what we have done. See, we have to inspect first. Then we have to click on console. Then here, window dot scroll. And here we have to pass some parameter. For example, see zero that is first parameter for this horizontal axis and uh, y axis so something suppose 500 pixels suppose that i want to mention so see it got scrolled down right so accordingly we can mention the parameters and this is a javascript code now see here we are running javascript code and that we are running from the console right we can copy this and here in selenium here we have mentioned this see this is the code that we have mentioned there right we have to pass this code as a parameter to the execute script method this method is called by this object this object is of class javascript executor right means what we have to do we have to use you have to define object of javascript executor class okay then what we have to initialize it so we have to initialize it by this driver object right we have to typecast it to this type javascript executor and by this we are calling this method execute script and in double quote we have to call we have to mention this javascript code now see this is the code that we have written for full web page scrolling right full web page scroll for that purpose we have written this code now see we have to scroll in a table so see what here we have to scroll table first we'll see vertically so we have to scroll table vertically okay so how to do that we'll see the code so see uh, same thing will be there okay just we have to find out this javascript code to scroll any table vertically so see same thing we require same statement we require likewise and see here just we have to change this javascript code then double code we have to mention javascript code and by that we can scroll any table vertically so see in this our example okay so we got this table right so we'll see how to scroll this table vertically now see first what we'll do so we have to come to this table right so how much we require to scroll down this web page so just we'll do by trial and error window dot scroll 0 comma uh, let us see 1500 let us see so see uh, we will get to this table if you mention this one see again i am checking if you mention this so see we are coming to this okay 0 1500 so here i will mention 0 1500 so by this we will scroll this web page okay after that what we have to do now we have to scroll this table okay so see what we have to do we'll inspect this table first okay now see we have to take help of css selector code and that we have to mention in javascript code so first we have to find out css selector code for this table so see what we'll do we have to find out css selector code for this table so see let us see uh, we want to select this table right so if i take cursor over this table so it is getting selected but see our scrolling is up to here only not after this but if i take cursor over this table so it is completely it is getting selected okay but i want to select this much part only this much part right this much part because scrolling is here only so what we'll do okay see if i take cursor over this div tag okay so it is getting selected right this is getting selected and this only we want to scroll right so for this we'll write css selector code now see i uh, will write div so already uh, it is shown by the selector sub so that we'll use okay so one element matching and it is getting selected right one element matching and this is also getting selected now we will use this css selector code now see where we have to use 
now see i have copied this now go to console so what we have to do we have to type document now see if i write document so complete web page is getting selected right from this we have to identify this table right so dot now see there we write code css selector so say in selenium we call it css selector but in javascript we have to write it we have to mention it as query selector query selector okay query selector and this parenthesis in between that we have to mention this code so see here i have to paste it okay so what i have done document dot query selector and in this parenthesis in double quote this is css selector code i have pasted right so that thing i have done now see this is getting selected right so this is getting selected now see we have to scroll right so dot scroll so there are various methods so see we want to scroll from the top right we want to scroll from the top so that's why scroll top is equal to and i can mention something for example suppose if i mention uh suppose 300 something like this okay then press enter so here you can see see it is getting scrolled right it is getting scrolled so see again we'll check it so see i'm taking above then again uh, we will copy it see again i'm running that code so see if i do like you do like this so it is getting scrolled down right so we're scrolling from the top right so we got this javascript code now it's a very simple thing we have to copy this and we have to paste here whatever the code that we have written right we have to paste here now see okay so i have saved program now we will run it So see browser getting open now see scroll down so see uh, it is also scrolled down and this table is also scrolled down right uh, we'll do one thing now we'll add sleep here so we can check before this we'll add this sleep so see uh, this web page got scroll and this table is also scrolled down right so in this way we can scroll any table now see uh, we have scrolled this table vertically right we'll scroll down this table horizontally like this okay so in previous case we have scrolled that table vertically now we'll scroll this table horizontally so first we'll check uh, how much we have to go down so to see this table so suppose see uh, we are on the top and here we'll type window dot scroll uh, let us try 0 3000 okay so we are coming to this table right we are coming to this table now see so we can do one thing we'll just increase it by 50 suppose see I am taking on the top window dot scroll 0 comma suppose I am taking 3050 something like this let us see okay perfect now see we are coming to this table right now we want to scroll it horizontally right so again same thing whatever the thing we have done last time for the table to scroll vertically same thing will do first we have to inspect this inspect now see uh, we want to select this table right so if i take cursor over this table so see uh, it is selecting unwanted part right so see actually our table is this much only but it is selecting this part also when i take cursor over here so i don't want that i want to select that table only so see if i take cursor over this div tag so it is selecting that part only right this much part only see yeah, i am taking cursor over here and it is selecting this part only and i want that only that only because i want to uh, scroll this table only right so see like this now see for this uh, we will create css selector code let us see 
so we will use div see now we are not writing export we are writing css selector code so see uh, so already that solution is given by the selector sub that same thing that will use let us see so okay so one element matching and it is also getting selected right so we'll copy this this css selector code will copy now click on console so see document so when i write document so it is selecting complete web page dot there we call css selector right here we have to call as a query selector query selector right so in parenthesis in double code we have to mention that code right so this is css selector code right now see we want to scroll it from the left right previously when we have to scroll so we have used scroll top because we want to scroll from the top here we have to scroll from the left right so that's why scroll left is equal to uh, we can choose anything suppose for example 300 enter so see here you can see it is getting scrolled right if i mention something some value what are the value that we require so if you mention like that and if i press enter so it is getting scrolled from the left from the left right towards right now see we will copy this code okay control c now see in our main code so see first what we have to do we have to scroll our web page so we'll scroll our web page by something 3050 right we have to write code to scroll horizontally so scroll table horizontally right now again we'll add slip method of slip uh, we'll mention 2000 millisecond js dot execute script right and at the end semicolon here we'll remove these two parameters in we'll mention double quote right and there we'll paste it right that javascript code there we have pasted now see i'm saving it and now we'll run our code so see browser got opened so see our web page got scrolled and now here you can see okay so this table is also scrolled towards right from the left right and in the beginning that uh, web page also scrolled right so in this way we can write code to scroll table vertically and to scroll table horizontally i will provide this code in my blog post and that blog post link i will provide in description box from there you can take this code so friends i hope you like this video if it is, click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you